Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. I thought I'd make a quick tip video here about editing a sunset and in specifically about golden hour and using that on a sunset and why I think it may be helpful to use another tool with it first. Let's get into it. Here's a photo. Now I've done nothing to it besides my cropped and straightened and that sort of thing, but I've no, uh, done no other edits. And you might come in and do things with the light tool. I'm going to skip all that. We're just going to go straight into golden hour. And so when you have a sunset like this, the inclination might be just to go to golden hour and bump up those warm tones. And you know, it works. It's, it's a great tool. It's one of my favorite tools, not just in Luminar, but like in any product. However, I find that there's a better way to do things uh, and still get the benefit of golden hour. So, you know, what golden hour will do is bring up the warm tones and kind of that intensity of that warm light across the entire photo, uh, but it, it's indiscriminate, right? So uh, I might would come something like that, maybe 35 or 40 on this photo. Let me show you the before and after. There it is before and then back on after. You know, it looks nice, but I'm gonna turn it off. What I find that I like to do better is go to split toning first and then come back to golden hour. So this is not a deep dive about split toning, but I'm just gonna focus on the highlights. So click on highlights and basically you pick a hue and a saturation level for the highlights. Well, the highlights are gonna be those brighter parts in the sky which is really what the sunset is, right? So I'm going to come over here to saturation and you just season the taste here. The hue you can choose, you know, any of the, anything along this color uh, spectrum here, I'm going to leave it in the red. So it's those warmer tones, but then I come over here and bump this up and all it's doing is it's adding a uh, higher intensity of that reddish kind of color into the highlights only. So it's not really impacting the entire photo. It's impacting the highlights and guess what? The sunset, of course, is the highlight. So I think that looks really good. And then I may come back here to the landscape tool, turn that back on and get a little bit of golden hour and maybe not quite that much, maybe pull that down a little bit. But I think those two in tandem work really well. I think just be careful and don't just go in and use golden hour and count on that by itself. Because I think that if I go back here to toning and turn this off, so there it is just with golden hour, you can see, I mean, you know, it looks pretty good. Let me turn that off. So if I just have golden hour, there's the photo with no edit and with golden hour, I think looks pretty good. But when I add this split toning in and warm up those highlights even further, I get that nice kind of radiant glow across the sunset, which I think looks really good. So just a tip there to try and experiment with the split toning in your sunsets in addition to the golden hour and not necessarily in place of, although there are many times when I use split toning and not use golden hour, but I think a lot of people will use golden hour because it's, it's advertised and designed really for that warm glow of, of like a sunset. But I think combining it with split toning can give you a little bit better balance, a little bit more intensity. Just be careful with it. Uh, but I think a better little, uh, a little bit better overall look to the photo. So just a quick tip, something to think about and experiment uh, with in your own photos. Thanks for watching my friends. I'll be back soon with more. And if you have any uh, ideas or things you'd like me to address in quick tip videos, hit me up down below. See you soon, my friends. Take care of yourselves and adios.